This is Tom Colt Export, and today we uh, test how FSR performs on lower end hardware. So, for this round of benchmarks, uh, we have the Lenovo Yoga laptop with the Ryzen R7 4700U with 16GB of 4266MHz LPDR4X memory, I think. Then we have yet another laptop with an i5 6600K and a GTX 1050 with 4GB of video memory. Moving on to desktop, the iGPU in the 11400, the UHD 730 has also been through the benchmarks and I also tested the R9 290 which is not officially supported but still works. The game I used for these tests were Anno 1800 as in my previous benchmark. I did test at different quality settings and we start off with the weakest of the bunch, the iGPU inside the 11400. So with the UHD 730 we had to drop down to low settings which has no AA anti-aliasing. FSR however strongly recommends 4 times AA for good reason. I tried balanced without AA and it was painful to watch. Ultra quality though, that was ok even without AA. So at 1080p with low settings we see a native performance of 30.3 frames per second on average, not great but ok. Enabling FSR with 4 times AA results in a performance drop of about 10%, so no reason to go that route. Uh, and that was uh, with ultra quality enabled. Not off to a great start, but disabling AA and we see a performance increase of close to 15% with ultra quality enabled. With the quality preset I would stick with AA on and image, uh, and that means we see less than 10% performance increase over native and uh, I'm not sure if that's worth the image quality hit. But uh, moving on to balanced we now see a decent 23% performance boost but with a noticeable image quality drop and this is with AA enabled. Then we have performance which doesn't really see a performance increase over balanced in my benchmarking anyway, at least not in this case. There are some gains in the average 1% and 0.1% low but it's not worth the terrible image quality. The best way to play Anno 1800 on this iGPU would be with ultra quality without AA. So not a great showing for FSR uh, uh, here, but uh, then again this is a really low end GPU that is not meant for gaming I would say. This brings us on to the next iGPU, the Vega 7 in the R7 4700U. This is a more powerful iGPU and we were able to up the quality settings to medium with this setup. Then uh, the native performance with the Vega 7 iGPU is at 33.9 frames per second average, which is similar to the UHD's uh, numbers with the low settings. So it's not great, but it's okay. Enabling FSR with ultra quality preset we see a very welcome 21% performance increase, although frame times do not improve. Dropping to the quality settings we see a further 13% increase in performance, but again the frame times do not change. Average performance is decent at this stage with some image quality loss, but on the smaller laptop screen I would have no issue playing with the quality setting. Balanced brings us another 11% performance boost over quality and a rather impressive 52% increase over native. At this stage frame times do improve and make this experience a lot smoother even though you do take a hit to the image quality. Performance settings should be avoided but brings another 11% increase in performance over balanced and we are closing in on 60 frames per second on average but it looks terrible so there's that. So with the Vega 7 iGPU FSR worked rather well, but uh, as this feature works pretty much on any GPU, how will the GTX 1050 respond to FSR? Well, we are again using the medium quality preset and at native the 1050 is faster than the Vega 7 iGPU with FSR set to performance mode, but this is a dedicated GPU so I would expect nothing less. We're just shy of 60 frames per second on average without FSR, with FSR set to quality, uh, ultra quality we get a 15% performance bump which brings us close to 70 frames per second on average and thus improve the playability. Frame times remains pretty much unchanged as it did with the other GPU so we're probably CPU bound uh, on that front but uh, dropping even further to quality we get yet another 12% performance increase over overall the quality. Frame times sees a very slight improvement. Balance brings another 11% increase in performance over quality 
and 42% increase over native. Performance brings the average FPS above 90, but again, I would avoid this mode because the image quality is pretty poor. For this title, ultra quality should be fine with medium settings and a GTX 1050. Last up is the R9 290. This unsupported GPU from AMD is still fairly good at 1080p, so we upped the quality settings to high, which saw a native performance similar to that of the GTX 1050 with medium settings, just shy of 60 frames per second. Ultra quality provides us with a very nice 21% increase in performance, which improves the playability by a decent degree, as the frame times also improved this time. Quality and balanced are 30-40% faster than native, with decent increases to frame times as well. And as always, performance mode should be avoided, but it does uh, what it says on the tin, it gives you much improved performance. Now let's take a look at performance increase across quality settings and GPUs. With the ultra quality preset we can see that the AMD, GPU, AMD GPUs, dedicated or integrated, sees a 21% increase in performance with FSR set to ultra quality, while non-AMD GPUs sees a 15% performance increase. One would be tempted to draw the conclusion that it must have to do with driver support, but AMD has not released an FSR driver for the GT GCN based uh, desktop GPUs, so therefore it probably has to do with the fact that the feature is developed by AMD and the other manufacturers have not gotten the chance to update their drivers for it yet. So we, in the future we could see more uh, larger performance increases on non-AMD GPUs with FSR, but for now it, it does perform really well on AMD hardware and uh, it actually works on non-AMD hardware as well, so that's brilliant really, and it gives you a bit more uh, longevity out of your GPU. Uh, and, uh, well, how many games that will adopt this feature will remain to be seen, but I'm hopeful at, that it will be a decent amount. That's it for this time, thank you so much for watching, and uh, farewell for now.